Hi everyone, welcome to Open Filmmaker. In the previous video, I covered a hack for auto ISO on Panasonic cameras. It's a really useful feature for vlogging and home videos. You can check out that video by clicking on the top right of the screen. In this video, I'm gonna cover back button focus and why you should be using that both for professional photography and video. Coming right up. Alright, so before we talk about back button focus, let's take a look at how your camera works by default. When I press the shutter button, the camera is doing two actions in sequence. The first action is focusing. This happens when the shutter button is pressed halfway. The second action takes the photo when the shutter becomes fully pressed. This is the default functionality in all cameras. So what is back button focus? Back button focus is decoupling the focus away from the shutter button and assigning it to the button on the back of your camera. So now the shutter button, instead of doing two actions in sequence, it only does one, which is taking the picture. This way, the shutter button doesn't spend extra time focusing. So why should you use this? Well, it comes down to speed. Your camera will be able to take more photos when it doesn't spend time focusing between every shot. So this is really useful in situations where the subject is moving really quickly. So things such as sports photography, birds in flight are really good examples of this. And this is immensely useful for video because this feature adds the focus capability to the back button even in manual focus. So instead of always using the focus ring on the lens to pull focus, I can quickly press the back button to bring the subject into focus. All right, so that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it or found it useful, hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I am a new YouTuber trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.